Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktail Party. This is part two of our Pride episodes. Um, we told you to be back, and here we are. So um, today we're actually making a cocktail for you instead instead of a, um, just a shot. All those drink so, people out there. <laughs> right. Shots are great, but I like a good cocktail. I like kinda, something I can sip on. Right, me too. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, but first, before we get into that, let's discuss something about pride, which is etiquette. Not just etiquette, drag queen etiquette. So um, if you're at a drag show or you see someone in drag, here is what you don't do. You don't touch them. <laughs> That's the first thing. Like, Do not grab their ass. Do not assault them in any type of way. Drag queens are people too. Don't touch them. <laughs> They don't want to be touched. Unless they tell you, hey, touch me, don't touch them. <laughs> um, if you're watching the show, first of all, tip as well. Tip. Tip your performers. Yes. I mean. It takes a lot of money to look this cheap, darling. Getting in drag <laughs> is hot. Oh, God. It's expensive. It's a lot of work. So tip your performers. Performing. getting Having the balls to get up there and perform in the first place. Right. Tip them. Um, don't play with them like, oh, I'm going to hand you this dollar, I'm going to snatch it back, I'm going to snatch it back, or, or hold on to it, because you're liable to get slapped. So, hand them the money and let them take it. Um, don't steal their money. Do not do that. Oh, don't be God. picking up their money off the floor. Can you imagine? <laughs> Who is that broke? That they have to steal drag queen too? I've seen it happen, girl. I've seen, I've seen people snatch a dollar from them. Oh, my God. Like, it's terrible. Um, there's some etiquette. Can you think of anything else? Um what to do, what not to do. Now off the top of my head, I mean, those those are some pretty pretty good guidelines, right? Right. There. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's simple. Just don't don't touch them, tip them. Don't be a bad and person. And you're still Right. Be a good person. <laughs> be a good person at a drag, drag show. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't sit there on your phone the whole time uh, performing. Uh, like, if you are that uninterested, take your ass outside. Right. Because there are other people that are living for it. Right. And we don't need to look up while we're performing and see you stank face on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, don't walk across the stage or through the area when they are performing. It's all about them. People get clotheslined if it's I'm up <laughs> there. People get clotheslined. <laughs> Have you ever seen a drag queen come for somebody before? Uh, it's... <laughs> Uh, I've seen this one. You want to watch out with her. She'll take a. She'll straight up start dancing on top of you, like beating you down with the dance moves. <laughs> I love how dance moves are like. <laughs> it's very nineties. Very MC Hammer. <laughs> um, but that's just a few things. Keep in mind if you go see a drag show, or if you're at a drag show, if you're at a nightclub, whatever. Um, you know, we talked about this last time, last episode, that a lot of prod festivals. Um, have been canceled due to COVID-19. So, even if, so if you do get the chance to see someone, to, remember this for in the fall when it comes back, when, <laughs> when we have Pride in the fall. Remember. These rules still these apply. Rules still apply. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's not June. They still apply. Um, but once again, I'm going to step off my little soapbox. Boop, 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 boop. I'm done. <laughs> Y'all behave yourselves. Um, today's cocktail is actually called Tommy to the Bedpost. What? Yeah. I thought it was cute, um, you know, a little kink. That sounds um, like lyrics to a 90s song. I, it, <laughs> it was it was track seven on my album that I came out with. <laughs> I forgot about that. You know, when I was I was still trying to be, I was trying to be a groupie um, for like Aerosmith and it just <laughs> never took off. Never took off. So so now here we are. Here we are making simple shots for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but time to the bed post is what it's called. Um, we're gonna be using just a regular little cocktail glass. Um, Miss Nostalgia, what ingredients and things are going in this? I have got ingredients for you guys. So we've got some grenadine, like our last episode. Um, we've got some vodka. My favorite, amaretto. <laughs> <laughs> some southern comfort. And some orange juice. Orange juice. Um, tools, like I said, cocktail glass. Um, or whatever glass you want to use. It doesn't have to necessarily be like one of these little ones, but it could be whatever you want to use. Um, a little boop, boop, boop beep, beep. a little measurement shot glass, something to measure your ingredients with, a shaker, and we are actually garnishing um, these drinks with little oh my skewers um, that have little bears, because who doesn't love a bear? Ooh. Who doesn't love a little bear? Um, and they're little rainbow bears. Oh. Okay, bears. So, um, 
that's pretty much all you need though. It, not a lot of stuff you need for it. Um, we'll hop right into making this tiny to the bedpost cocktail for you. <laughs> Kinky. Um, so Miss Nostalgia, we're gonna do an ounce of vodka. Vodka! I have got it for you, comrade. You're actually really good at that. <laughs> I can't do any kind of I, accent. I got it. I, I, Other than Texan. I actually used to be a Russian spy. <laughs> Did you? Were you? <laughs> you can't tell by this drag outfit, Haney. You still are a Russian spy. <laughs> still am. Katya, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do an ounce of amaretto. Amaretto, amaretto. Oh, this looks dangerous. It's like, you know, I did it's not a know. Little boop. <laughs> I did not know that it was like a cork thing, like cork action. Cork action. Cork action. Put a cork in it. That was the name of the video I made. Ooh, cork action. Cork action. action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I get an ounce of Soco or Southern Comfort? Soco. I yes. feel like you enjoy this, my dear. I used to drink Southern Comfort. Um, pretty frequently. Um, it was one of my favorites. Um, it's really sweet though. Ooh, 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 ooh. And let's do um, uh, two ounces of uh, OJ, some orange juice. I'm gonna flip this over. Some OJ. There we go, perfect. All right, so we got all those in there, I'm gonna mix those up before we use the grenadine. Ooh. All right, so. Ready? Ready, and go. Nope. <laughs> all right, so we got all that in there, and now we're gonna need um, an ounce of grenadine. Yes. Yes. Full ounce. Full ounce. Uh, there we go. Oh god. Good luck. <laughs> and <laughs> there you go. Done. Uh, and then I'm gonna take a little straw and a little garnish. I'm gonna mix up this little granite up in here. Mix it up to where it's nice and a red cute color. <laughs> Alright, so we got that there. And then we just set the little skewer on there with the little bears. Oh. Precious. If they'll stay. <laughs> this bears are some acrobats tonight. <laughs> Circus LA bears. They've had a couple of these cocktails themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and that's it. That is time to do the bedpost. Oh. Right there. Done. Are the bears tied to the bedpost? I mean, you can tie a bear to a bed. <laughs> Look at uh, You can tie a bear to a bed post if you want. It's bright. <laughs> How you choose to spend it is, is your business. It's up to you. <laughs> we're actually going to make Miss Nostalgia her cocktail, and we're going to come right back for Taste It. Hi. And welcome back for Taste It. So we have Miss Nostalgia's here, we have mine, and we are ready to taste the Tiny the Pet Ghost cocktail. You ready? I'm excited. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Ooh, that's delicious. Mm. That's really good. Once yeah. again, once again, just like last episode, I'm getting like different flavors at different times. Right. I think some, that's the best part about these fried shots and drinks. Like, you get all kinds of different flavors. Like, at first, I was getting more, um, like, the vodka orange juice taste. Mm -hmm. And then, all of a sudden, it hit me with a little bit of SoCo and then a little bit of uh, Amaretto. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm digging it. It's like a little bit of a journey that you take with each sip. You want me to tell you what it reminds me of? What? <laughs> Whenever I first tried this, I was like, mmm, Kool-Aid. <laughs> it tastes exactly like Kool-Aid. I guess it does kind of taste like Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, Did first, you see that? At first, and then it's like bam, 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 all these little alcohols hit you. So, I love these little bars. They're so cute. 
I know, and they just keep doing little flips, little like they're little, little, little tipsy. <laughs> so, um, what would you grade the Tommy to the Bed Post cocktail? Uh, I'm probably gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a B plus. I'm right there with you. I'm somewhere between B minus and B plus. B, uh, let's settle for a B then, a B. Because um, it doesn't have those flavors, but it just feels a little basic to me for some reason. Yeah. It's, it, it is pretty basic, but it's kind of not too bad to make either. It's yeah. pretty easy, so. Um, but I think it has very, it's very sweet. It has a lot of sweet flavors in it. So. We make a lot of sweet drinks on this show. We do. We like a lot of sweet drinks. Oh, I like a little sugar in my tank. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I'm going to go with B. So, sound good to you? Yeah. B? Yeah. Okay. I think so as well. Um, you guys tell us what you rate these drinks. We like to know. Yeah, we like to know what you think about them. Put it in the try. comments down below. Yeah, let us know if you try any of our drinks, um, for sure. We're always up for um, criticism. You know, let us let us know what you want us to make. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Suggestions. Oh, yeah. yeah so, um, for sure. But I think that's it for all the plot stuff. I think it's done. Um, of course, follow us on social media. Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Subscribe to our channel here. Um, share the video with everyone that you can. Um, and I hope that everyone has a happy pride and everyone stays safe and has a good time. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. That's it. And we'll see you right here next time on Cocktail, Cocktail Party. Party.